Hello guys, this is Aim and welcome to the channel. In the last video, which was the introduction to Prim's algorithm and minimum spanning tree, we have constructed a minimum spanning tree using Prim's algorithm in a, of a given graph. And also, we have learned that it is not as efficient to be implemented practically. So, in this video, we will be learning how to solve Prim's algorithm using greedy approach. So now we are back at our whiteboard with the same example as the previous video. So in this video we will be applying greedy approach and while uh, performing the algorithm you may also notice that we are using BFS style of uh, parsing a graph. If this efficient Prim's algorithm has, has an in initialization step and also a loop invariant step that is nothing but a loop <laughs> simply putting and also we will be using a data structure heap a binary heap to find the minimum cost edge uh, the main idea of efficiency here is using this data structure so we are using the right data structure at the right time to reduce the complexity by a large factor and also we will be using a utility function extract minimum which extracts the minimum of the heap q we will have a set parent of like a parent of a vertex which is nothing but the parent of a current a uh, vertex so we will also have uh, the key a uh, key of a vertex so for example in this example the key of b can be any of uh, any of the adjacent edges cost it can be 2 3 5 or 8 it is determined dynamically in the uh, greedy approach ideally it should be the least edge that is adjacent to it so as you may know as you may have noticed this table this table has three columns one is for vertices let's fill this so this will be the initialization step where we are pushing let's consider this whole thing as a heap so this vertice column is a heap in itself so first we need to fill this heap and then we need to assign each vertex parent as null or nil as at initialization step we do not know which vertex is parent of what as we as there is no minimum spanning tree and also we will be assigning a record value for a key which is which is the largest possible value and theoretically it can be infinity so let's for theoretical purpose we can put it as infinity so we are done with initialization step so as part of loop invariant step we need to consider the root of our minimum spanning tree which is going to be built finally so uh, as conventional we'll consider a as our root and we have to update its key value to zero because the cost of reaching the root is always zero now this we are considering as the queue that is nothing but the our heap now we have to loop through uh, this set of uh, queue elements to find the minimum spanning tree so the first step is to extract the minimum based on the key value so the key value is, is minimum only for a so we will consider a another set minimum spanning tree which are the nodes which are already the part of the candidate set so we have a extracted that not, that means that is out of our heap now we have to consider all the edges of a so we have what is we can go to vertex b with weight 2 and to b to weight 6 now uh, we have to update the key value checking with the current key value which is there in our table so there are two conditions how we have to update 
we have to update only if the current key value is greater than the one which we are which we are considering now and also we should not consider the vertices which are already part of, of our min, min, minimum spanning tree set so b and d are not part of the minimum spanning tree set we can update the key value to 2 as for d to 6 so and we have to update the parent value so that now the parent value will be a because we have updated with a now as a is no more in q we have to find we have to extract the minimum in the uh, q and that will be b so b will be extracted out and b is added to the minimum spanning tree so let's consider all the possible edges for b so c with the weight 3 and uh, we can go to e to 5 and also d2 with the eight, weight 8 so let's update and uh, checking with the key value c is infinity which is obviously greater than 3 therefore we'll update update the 3 and as well as the parent to uh, current uh, vertex that is b now we have to update e as well because it is greater 5 so now a d so a d current key value is 6 and now right now we are considering 8 so we need not to update and the parent will be still a now we are done with two elements uh, which are part of minimum spanning tree now uh, let's extract another minimum from the set so we have c so uh, let's consider all the edges so c has b with weight 3 and c has uh, e with weight 7 but as you may have noticed b is already part of minimum spanning tree so we should not consider this now so the only thing is e with the weight 7 so the current key value is 5 and the one which you are considering 7 so we need not to update the e value so we have extracted c also successfully so what is the terminating step here so the terminating step is when terminate when q length is equal to zero so we still have two more elements so uh, now the minimum is e so let's consider all the possible adjacent vertices that is d and uh, with weight 9 and also we have b and c but with also part of uh, minimum spanning tree so we have only d to consider now uh, we have the minimum key vertex as e so the possible adjacent vertex is d so with weight 9 L let's see if we can uh, compare it with key value of the current so the current is 6 and the, the right now which we are considering is 9 so there is no need for us to update the key value so we have successfully extracted e as well and let's place it in our set the only value which is uh, which we have to check is 6 that is nothing but d so let's let's see what possible what are the possible vertex so as this is the last one there is no need for us to compare therefore let's add it to the minimum spanning tree set and ex delete it from the heap now we have we have reached the terminating step of the algorithm as there is no vertex present in the this is the final tree that is constructed using the greedy approach now let's see what is the structure of the trees this is the final tree which we uh, which is constructed so all the green edges are are the part of the minimum spanning tree and a d b and c d so these are th this is the final tree with the root 
as a so the total time complexity of this algorithm is bigger of e log v this is clearly a drastic reduce in the time complexity compared to that of big of n square in the last video in the next video we will be we will be implementing an inefficient prims algorithm in the computer to visualize how the tree is created and i'll see in the next one